good morning students after watching this video kindly subscribe my channel do subscribe like and share thank you so today we are going to discuss the subject theory of computation so in a theory of computation the topic is nfa with input string checking okay so if the diagram input diagram is given as a nfa transition diagram so we will see how one input is accepted by this finite automata transition diagram okay so first of all all of you check whether the given diagram is n nfa or not yes this is nfa okay so how this is nfa means the same state with the same input symbol can be traveled more than once in a diagram it is called as a non deterministic finite automata transition diagram okay so for this q0 state check all of you q0 on 0 there are two states of a transition q0 on 0 we have a state q0 and q1 okay again the q1 on 1 we have a state q1 and q2 okay so like if the same state with the same input symbol can be traveled more than once in a transition so we can call it as a nfa transition diagram okay so after confirming this is nfa transition diagram so now i can go with one input string checking through this transition diagram okay so we'll see how one input string is accepted by this language okay so the w equal to i am going to generate one input string from this 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 okay so we'll see whether this input string is accepted by this finite automata or not okay so for that we have a extended transition function formula okay so there is application of extended transition function extended transition function delta dash so which is delta to delta dash so we can apply this extended transition function for the your input checking here okay so we'll have a input string the delta of okay so q0 initial state is q0 and the given input string is 00110 00110 One one zero. Okay. So when you do with the input string checking, okay. So must follow with your extended transition function like that. The delta of delta dash of. So what is first input string? Q zero on zero. Come on. What about the remaining input strings? You have to write the remaining input strings zero one one zero. 0 110 okay so after that you have to uh, derive the transition function q0 on 0 result okay so now the delta of q0 on 0 now you can check with the transition diagram q0 on 0 consist of a state q0 comma q1 q0 and q1 okay so there are two states of your transition and remaining inputs are 0 1 1 0 okay so we have a transition like this the next step you have to uh, divide these two states through the property of union if you have a any transition function consist of more than one states then you have to apply the property of uh, union uh, property okay so the delta of Okay, so delta dash of q zero comma next input string is zero zero union delta dash of q one on zero. Okay, and comma we have a remaining input string one one zero one one zero. Okay, so now you check with the result once again of 
what is delta dash of q0 on 0 we know the result already q0 on 0 is q0 comma q1 union what is q1 on 0 there there is a no state of q1 on 0 so i can put phi result okay so remaining strings are again 1 1 0 so again you have to write it as a transition function of extended delta dash delta of delta dash of q0 comma 1 union delta dash of q1 comma 1 okay q1 comma 1 comma remaining inputs are 1 0 okay so you have to complete up to the end of the state of your transition here Okay, so which is equal to now find out what is q0 on 1, what is q1 on 1. Okay, so q0 on 1 there is no result. So I can put here the phi result. Union q1 on 1 from the transition diagram. I have a q1 on 1 result is q1 and q2 states. Okay, q1 and q2 states. Q2 comma remaining inputs are 1 0 so now you can apply once again the property of union delta of okay so delta dash of q1 on 1 union delta dash of q2 on 1 comma 0 so the last input we have a 0. So now you have to find out the value of q1 on 1, q2 on 1. Okay. So we will see the value of q1 on 1 and q2 on 1 here. Okay. Yes. So next you have to find out the value of equal to delta of delta dash of we have a last transition function q1 on 1 q1 on 1 union delta dash of q2 on 1 q2 on 1 comma the last input string is 0 okay so now from the transition diagram you can check with what is the result of your q1 on 1 q1 on 1 result is become a q1 comma q2 union what is q2 on 1 there is no the input symbol 1 is traveling from the q2 so the result is 5 and 0 is the last input okay so now this can be written as the delta of delta dash of q1 on 0 okay union delta dash of q2 on 0 okay so last if you have a 0 is the last input symbol and there is no uh, transition input symbol then you can put epsilon here okay so otherwise directly you can find the value of q1 on 0 okay delta of q1 on 0 union delta of q2 on 0 this is another one method either you can go for this way or you can apply for the directly after this step delta of q1 on 0 q2 on 0 okay so now q1 on 0 is okay so what is the result of q1 on 0 it's a 5 union so what is the result of q2 on 0 q2 on 0 result is q2 okay so now the result is q2 this q2 is called as a final state this q2 is called as a final state so we have reached the final state at end of the transition so the given string w equal to 0 0 1 1 0 is accepted when it reaches the final state, this can be accepted by the finite automata transition. Thank you. Thank you for watching.